Right, so Minecraft builds are pretty static. They don't really move. This smoke is not moving, but what if it could move? I have created a way to animate a Minecraft build. Essentially, if I press our start button, I've made like a little test animation to test this out. How it does it is it gets the plot there, puts it there, then gets the plot there, puts it there, 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 there etc. And you can see that redstone going around there like that, looping around. Each time it gets to a command block, it puts that frame onto this plot. There's three things I want to make. The first thing I want to make is a walk cycle. So essentially I want to create a character and the character is going to be walking. So we're going to start on our first frame and I'm going to make myself. I'm going to be walking. After some quick building I had a character which resembled myself which doubles as the first frame. As you can see we've got me. Now if I press start that's our animation. We now have to do our second frame. Each time I make a new frame I copy the previous frame to the next frame's plot then edit it to be the next frame. But now we want to do the first frame of our walk, which would probably just be this. We also want to move the arm, have that start going. So now the arm is moving backwards, the leg is going. Yeah, that's kind of like my knee. This is very difficult because I'm not just making an animation, I have to work with organics for this first one. So now our next frame, we properly have the leg out. So it goes like that, then the full leg is out. The arm can be full backwards, so this then. Okay, that's looking weird. I guess like that. So if we have a quick look, you can barely see it because it I then disappear immediately. That's working. So now we have our next frame. We're now putting the- wait, hang on. Now I'm trying to- how do you walk again? I've forgotten. I need to learn how to walk. I figured it out and moved to the next frame. So now we have this again and we want the leg to just come down. I was making it step down in front of the other foot but realized if our character moves forward because it loops it'll move forward and then it'll go back to the beginning. So just to look better with the loop I'll do like that and then return the arm. You can see I, I take a step and then I disappear. Then I did to the right leg what I had done to the left leg to finish the animation. So we actually have an excess of frames. I don't need these two frames. All I need to do is destroy these command blocks, which will remove the frames from our animation. Then I did a teensy bit of command wizardry to skip from frame 8 to 1. Assuming I've done the commands right, we start our animation again. Our character is now walking. I like the movement of the legs. I don't think I've done the arms very well. So that will stay the same. This one, while that arm moves backwards, the other arm should be moving forward. So I applied that principle to every frame. I think it's a cool little animation. The arms are not perfect, but it looks like this is a character that is walking. But as cool as our walking is, I want to make chimney smoke. So at the start of the video, I mentioned how that chimney over there, the blocks aren't moving. So what if they were? So I put like a segment of a house in the corner of the plot so that we could actually have a chimney for smoke to come out of. And now we just animate some smoke. So there's two ways I could do smoke to animate. We could use cobwebs. However, I think something that's going to look better is glass. So I want to use gray stain glass, light grey glass, and then white stained glass. And so we'll get lighter as we go up. Our first frame should have no smoke. Our second frame, there's a little bit of smoke. The smoke is starting to get there. For each frame past that, I made the puff of smoke from the previous frame go a bit higher, get a bit lighter, and sort of dissipate a bit. On the first few frames, I introduced more puffs of smoke, but once I was about halfway through the animation, I stopped introducing new puffs of smoke and just let the current ones go higher, lighter, and dissipate until we got to where there's nothing so that the animation can loop. So if we play the animation, our smoke hopefully looks good. Look at that! Oh my god! Oh my god, that's actually so much better than I thought it was gonna be. That's so cool! That's really cool. Someone more talented than me can probably do multiple puffs of smoke at once so that there's a constant stream going, but that would be harder to loop, which is why I don't want to have to do that. But like one puff- ah! But like one puff at a time is still really cool looking. After 20 more seconds of gushing, I moved on. Now, the last thing that I want to animate is this thing over here. This is supposed to be like a hatch, a door to get into the rest of this dome. Law-wise, it would close and then it would open. However, you can't actually make it open and close, so it doesn't do that. But with our method of animation, I can animate this to open and close. So the first thing to do that would be to take our build, and I'm gonna hope that it will fit. Okay, so it's a bit ugly because it doesn't entirely fit. I think we change the base segment, but we keep the actual hatch door. So this is our door, this is the hole. So when the door is down, it would look like that, I guess. 
and then when it raises up, it will, I guess, regain the stairs. So that's what I need to make. I would spend more time on the base, but the base of it isn't what matters. This will be our first frame. The door is open, and then I guess we'll just close the door. We want the first frame of it closing, which it would be diagonal, which that's probably going to be the hardest bit to actually build, except I actually haven't... <laughs> Hang on, I've not had that hard of a time. That actually does look like the door is diagonal. That was surprisingly easy. I realized I didn't mention. This is a hinge. This is sort of like a, a wheel that goes round and round, and this is like a rope. We want to make it diagonal even more. I I guess the strategy is probably use mostly stairs. I guess we could just go like this, but then take out these corner bits. Does that look like that, but more diagonal? Not really. <laughs> this? That? I'm really struggling here. I could do like this, but that doesn't feel very connected at all. That, I think this is only one frame, so I shouldn't be thinking too much about it, because ultimately the frame is not going to be seen for that long, so it doesn't matter too much. Okay, that's a good sort of diagonal. I don't know why I didn't think about slabs until just now. Uh, I kind of want to pull this forward a little bit. Now it just looks a bit stretched. I could then pull that away, and then the hinge would go like that. Does that look more slanted than this? The answer is yes. Right, now we want it almost come to cover the door, but not quite. So something like that? I think that works. Now we have this, we want it to be basically almost on top. It's like only barely not on top at this point. Yeah, okay, there we go. We've achieved that. Now we want this to be closed. Here the thing needs to go up to there and then maybe replace this with a slab even. Like so. Now that we have closed, I think we then reverse it to open it. So I'm going to copy these frames, but we then play them in reverse order. So now I have every single frame. Hypothetically, we should have our door open and close and open and close and open and close over and over again. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that, except it would be nice if it stay closed for a bit longer, which I can probably do... If I make this longer, this command makes this frame appear. So if I give this more delay, it means the next frame will take longer to appear. And then I want it to stay closed for longer as well. Then hypothetically... Okay, now it stays closed, and it opens, and then it closes, then it opens, and it closes, and that's really cool. But not only have we made a door that opens and closes, we've also made smoke that rises, uh, puff, puff, puff. And we've made a sham that walks. He's walking. Where's he walking to? I don't know. He's, but he's busy walking. Look at him. And that's been animating in Minecraft with blocks. And that's also been really cool. This is a really cool video. So I hope you enjoyed. Consider subscribing. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you didn't get it, I was like, it was like the, it was, it was, it was, it was as if, if he said it, it was like that guy said, cause that guy, cause that's me. It doesn't look that much like me, but it's a little bit like me. I don't normally play Minecraft on full screen because I just prefer being able to see the taskbar, but when recording I'm supposed to so that I record at a higher resolution, but this video I forgot, so if it looks cropped weirdly, that's because it recorded weirdly because it's set up to record full screen, but I wasn't playing in full screen. Apologies. Bye!